Okay, welcome to another tutorial um, for programming. So today I'm going to talk about GitHub. Not so much on the programming side, but um, just uh, tools that can help. So what is basically GitHub? GitHub is an online repository, repository that allow you to store your source code, share your pro your source code online. So whenever you create a new project. So this project basically is stored in your computer and if you store on your computer you want to share with others you need to copy that project directory and email to them or share using um, thumb drive so what github provide is basically for you to store your project online back up your project and if there's any changes to your project it can be easily be updated through the through github so if you like to share you can just give your github account a directory link to others and for uh, using github you can just go straight to github page and create your first account there I'm not going to go through uh, how to create account you can just use your uh, you can log in and create your account using the github link so for that you you need to deal uh, on your own so for example here this is my github account uh, sign as my name here and there are a few repository available for for example um, most of my project flutter workspace uh, will be available through this link so for those who are interested you can just clone and download the project so if you have your uh, github application uh, you can just download this or open this in your desktop straight away um, to make it easier so you can actually you can just create for example you want to share your project so let's say this is a Java project NetBeam and I want to share my project workspace so for example I need to look where I store this so this is on the desktop let me put somewhere so for example this project here so this project is under this directory and I would like to share this NetBeam project to the world so all I need to do either you can create the project directory here new repository but I would suggest for you to install and download github desktop okay so download github desktop and install on your computer and for that you can have your github desktop install I'm not going to go through the installation process for that you need to do it on your own alright so for example right now I do have one um, push so let me push this first Maybe, ok let, let me push this first commit to master and commit to github all right so for to create project so three to to sh to to upload your project from github desktop you need to log in first right from here you need to log in so whenever you run this first you need to log in to your github desktop and if you like to create new directory for this for example at the moment I do have one directory which is for flutter alright so how to create how to share for example this directory this current directory that contain all my Java project into github page so it's very easy all you need to do is just 
file add local repository choose the local repository that you like to do select this one for example so select folder so it says that this directory does not appear to be a git repository we like to create one yeah create repository right so create repository inside this project so netbin project description and just create repository here okay so for this you can see at the moment there are two projects available right so those are the project so once we set that you can just publish this repository to github so at the moment now my file here I didn't have any netbin repository so all I need to do now just press this publish repository publish repository right this one um, some problem with it so just ignore this file start changes and the same discharge changes because this one already uploaded to the server so make sure that everything clean here so this is all the history this is the changes so now I can go to my github account and you can see there this is a netbin project so all those projects now available inside here for example you like to check um, task inheritance and then you can see all the files there all the project files available the source code of the project is there um, but this this project still if you if you look inside here the status of the project this project still not public so you need to to make it as a public this is a still private project so as a private project you can share with others so you need to go to setting make it as a public all right so you can upload proper uh, project here and everything and then finally make this as a public okay so so you need to take the name of the repository and make it public I understand make this public right so now this is a public project anybody can access if you give this to to your friend they can access your project inside here it's easy so if there's any changes that you introduce for example let me click let me check project inside here let me introduce one file one changes to the file let's say this this project over here right so let me add a few let me create 
let me just create second object for this which is still two okay so there are changes to this file so when I save this file and then I close this project so you can see when you open github project you can see changes to the file inside github so there's changes here so if you are if you like to update these changes on your github project all you have to do is just commit to master so for example for me i would like to know when so i just put to 10 2000 and then some description um, student project student info project updated right so commit to master and push your content to server to github server right done there's no changes anymore so you can close github and then you can always see uh, the latest changes okay it says here uh, netbin project there's two new commit here and when so you can see now this is the 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 the, the, the commit the the file that i updated student registration system so to 10 35 seconds ago yeah this is very easy so if you like to share this you can download this you can clone this or you can open this in github project allow so it shows this project here so since there's no changes it's all good no need to do anything that's it. Very easy.